Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower I'm trying to get is super sleuthing. I'm still investigating the great cookie caper, but with mixed results. I did use my amazing disguise to tell some baddies yesterday, but then I think they recognise you and I stopped to change my noses. And then a bird swooped down and took my ice cream, so anyway, Detective Nana Girl is still on the case. I need to get a secret message to my superhero friends to warn them to guard their own cookies in case our thief is a cereal sweet snack snatcher. My message will need to be in code so that the thief doesn't intercept it and learn that I'm on their trail. Nobody else apart from my super friend should be able to read it. I'll have to learn more though about the science of secret codes. Cryptography? or code breaking is the science of making and solving codes. Codes are ways to communicate without anybody else being able to understand what's being said. Usually letters and symbols are jumbled up and you need a way of decoding them which we call a cipher. Codes and ciphers have been used for thousands of years to share important secret messages. In fact, the idea for my secret cipher came from Julius Caesar, who used it to send messages to his soldiers in ancient Rome. We're going to make our own cipher wheel to enable us to send secret coded messages between our superhero friends while we're on the case to catch the dastardly cookie thief. For this experiment, you will need a sheet of A4 paper or card, ruler, pen, blue tack, two pencils, a wooden skewer, scissors, and three elastic bands. Before we get started making our cipher wheel, we're going to need to make a tool that will help us to draw and work with circles. We're going to make a compass. First, lie your two pencils side by side so that the nibs are next to each other. Now this is the easiest if your pencils are actually the same length, but don't worry if they're not. We're going to take the elastic band and tie them together at the top. You want it to be tight enough that they can slide past each other but not roll around too much. Next, we're gonna use our skewer to keep our pencil tips the same distance apart while we draw our circles. We want to secure it across the two pencils near the nibs, about here, using two elastic bands, one for each pencil. I'm gonna actually trim my skewer for this because this skewer is a little bit long. Remember how we do this? We're gonna score and then snap. Okay, give it a little wiggle because you want your skewer to be running straight across the two pencils. And my nibs are about even there. Perfect. Now we want to set the size of our circle. So I'm going to set these two pencils six centimeters apart. And then I'm going to use a little bit of blue tack to keep them in position. And there we go. A homemade compass with six centimeters between the nibs. Now we can draw circles accurately, and that is almost a superpower in itself. Now we're going to draw our circle on our piece of paper or card. I want to draw my circle close to one of the long edges, about halfway up to give me plenty of space above it. Make sure that you make a hole in the centre of the circle, and I find it easier to put a little bit of blue tack underneath where that hole is going to be. So there's my blue tack, and I'm going to put my pencil in right so make sure you put the pressure on the pencil that's in the centre of where your circle is going to be and then you're going to spin it around and as you do the other pencil should trace a line that looks like a circle. Now we're going to use our compass to divide the circle up into equal pieces. Put the point of your compass somewhere on the circumference and make a mark either side of the point right where your compass crosses the circumference, like this. Now move your point to one of those marks that you just made and put a mark where your point was before. So now you've got three marks around your circumference. If we draw from each of those marks through the centre point and out the other side, then we have cut our circle into six equal parts. Now we're going to divide each of these parts in half. Where one of your lines meets the circumference, I'm going to take my top one, put your compass point on there and draw an arc outside of the circle. Now move your point over to your next line and draw an arc again. And you should see it crosses with the arc you made before. So I've done it for this one, I've done it for this one, I'm now going to do it for this one. So now you can see that I have three crosses. One, two, three. 
I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a line through the centre and draw it from that point through my circle. And there you go, we've cut them in half again, so now we have 12 segments. So we actually want to make 24 segments. So we're going to cut them in half one more time. And to do this, we're going to need to change the radius of our compass now. So it's exactly the distance between two of our lines at the circumference. So I'm going to measure here and here. Now we're going to do the same thing, making arcs outside the circle, working around our top six lines. So I'm going to put one here and draw an arc down here and an arc over here. And then I'm going to move across and do another one and you can see that they'll cross and make a new one over here. And do the same thing again on this one, you can see that they cross, there you go. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six new points. Now you're going to join these points up through the middle, just like before. Congratulations, our circle has now been cut up into 24 equal slices using the superpower of geometry. We're going to cut this circle out and set it to one side. Now we want to make a slightly smaller circle. I'm going to make mine three and a half centimeters in radius. Again, put your blue tack underneath, make a hole, and draw a circle. And then when you've drawn it, cut it out. Okay, using a little bit of our leftover skewer and some blue tack, I'm going to cut it so it's about three centimeters. Put all of these on top of each other. So you're going to put some blue tack in the middle underneath the center of your circle, then your big circle, then your little circle, and you're going to put your skewer through the middle of both, and then secure it on the top with more blue tack. Now we want to create some marks on our smaller disc using our pen. So, put a little mark on the edge of the smaller disc exactly where the segment lines are on your outer disc. All the way around it, like this. We're going to write our alphabet around the edge of each disc. Now there are 26 letters of the alphabet, but we only have 24 slices. Cryptographers, people who make and break codes, know that X and Z are hardly ever used. So we're going to leave those ones off. Work around the edge with the bottom of your letters facing the edge, which will make it easier to read later. And we're going to go A, A, B, B, C, C, and so on, all the way around. And at the end, you're going to go V, W, Y, and then you're done. There we go. All of my letters are written on there. And now we have our cipher wheel. So I want my secret message to say, hide your cookies so that my other superhero friends know that their cookies may be at risk. First, you're going to need to decide on your key. My key is going to be A equals U, which means that my A here is going to equal a U here. So line them up that way, A equals U. That's the secret key. And then let's take the message, hide your cookies, and we're going to replace every letter with the new one from the codes. So hide H, the first letter H, aligns with the letter D. So where I would write a letter H, I'm now going to write the letter D. And I for hide is going to be the letter E. So keep going and work out your code. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Detective Nanogirl has made this unhackable secret message. Now you will know what it means. Let's see what Nano Nano Girl thinks. Here we go. Hey Nano Nano Girl, take a look at this secret code and tell me what you think it means. Daya Tikkun Wuka Ha ha! Oh, she says it means hide your cookies. How did you know that? Oh, because you watched me do it and saw that A equals U. Um, okay. That's right. For this to work, you need to make sure that you only tell the key to the person you want to see the secret. Don't just say it out loud so that everybody can figure it out. Well done, Nana Nana Gil, you cracked it. This cipher wheel, by the way, looks a little bit like a cookie, doesn't it? Mm, I wish I had a cookie right now. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> clever! I know, clever! Did you figure out what that meant? I-A-P-K-K. -K. Me too! Enjoy your cipher wheel!